Hello, good afternoon. My name is Jamie Jenkinson. I'm a director of a company called Cushion Shade Limited. We're the designers and suppliers of a unique new sunbathing accessory called Cushion Shade. I'm here today to ask for an investment of £100,000 and in return I am offering 15% equity in our company. Cushion Shade combines for the first time a cushion and a sunshade on one light portable product. The cushion gives the user's head both comfort and support when sunbathing and the shade provides plus 50 UPF protection against the aging and damaging effects of the sun. The frame uses a ratchet mechanism allowing the user to adjust the sunshade in, uh, in order to accommodate the sun's movements. It can be used on the beach, stand alone, but can also be attached to any sun lounger. This is the packaging for cushion shade. It's small, compact, very portable, and ideal for many retail sales channels to display. The sun care industry in the US and Europe was worth two billion pounds in 2006, and this is growing every year. Um, <coughs> um, to date, we have sold approximately 10,000 units of cushion shade. Um, since we started trading in August 2006. We are currently talking to two uh, uh, US retailers, CVS, a large pharmaceutical chain, who have 6,600 stores across America, and Target, who have over 1,500 stores across America. An investment today of £100,000 could generate an accumulated net profit of just under a million pounds in 2010. Thank you for your time. I look forward to answering some of your questions. A nervous Jamie Jenkinson from Dublin is asking the Dragons to invest £100,000 in cushion shade. A cushion and a sunshade rolled into one. He's offering a 15% stake of his company. Well, Jamie, will you put Peter Jones out of his misery, please? My God, Peter, what have you done? It doesn't help if you don't look at the instructions. Ah, there's the instructions in there. The Dragons are clearly intrigued by the product, but Deborah Meaden wants to get down to business. Hello, Jamie. I'm Hi, Deborah. Deborah. Hi. Um, how much do they sell for? They retail, the original unit retails for 25 euros or 16.99 sterling plus delivery. What are they costing you to produce? Uh, they, the, 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 the latest model costs 345 at the moment to manufacture. Is that, is, that's fully packaged? That's finished. fully packaged, that's everything. And there is room for, uh, for greater savings uh, with volume sales when we are talking to the bigger retailers. So what's your wholesale, obviously retail 16.99, what's your wholesale price? 420 direct from China. Right, so you're looking at making a pound margin? Yes, give or take, yeah. What have you made from the sales that you've generated? What's uh, the profit? Yeah, our, our gross profit to date is approximately 30,000 uh, pounds. And what are your costs against that £30,000? Um, well, we do have, uh, there, at the moment, there's, there is the two directors who are working at the full time at, at it. We don't pay ourselves any salary. We haven't paid ourselves anything from the start. So travel and, and the normal day-to-day -day runnings are our main costs. Jamie has failed to impress the Dragons with his financials. And now retail magnate Theo Pafitis is about to add to his woes. Jamie, what's stopping me competing against you? Well, we do have patents granted and pending. Um, they're well, granted. What have you got? That's great. Granted and pending. pending yes. Break it down for me. OK, uh, they're granted in Ireland and South Africa, and they're pending in the US, Europe and Hong Kong. So do you, do you, on, do you honestly believe that nobody is going to knock one of these up cheaply for themselves? Well, well, we would take them on the market. Our patents are, are, are in all the major markets. The reason so I'm saying this is because I, I've actually seen something very similar to this all over the continent. So it's, it's not new. So if you've had anything granted, it will be for something to do with the makeup of the actual product, which means it's really easy to copy. I, uh, first, yeah, I, I, I do appreciate your point, but uh, we, we do have other uh, very innovative products in the pipeline at the ah. early design stage, and we do... Oh, I see, now the penny's dropping. What are those? Um, well, I can't, I can't go into much detail with them. They're, at, they're ah. still at the drawing stage, but they are very, very innovative, just as innovative as Cushion Shade. Jamie is standing his ground under scrutiny from the Dragons, 
but is he doing enough to secure a £100,000 investment? Duncan Bannatyne is ready to say where he stands. So, Jimmy, you've been doing this for 18 months. That's right. And, and, and you made about £20,000 profit or something out of it. Yeah, give or take, yeah. How, how are you funding your lifestyle? Uh, well, fortunately, I had a good... My job previously was a well-paid job, so I was able to... So you're living from that. Yeah. You know, I'm just absolutely amazed that you can think this is a business. OK. You know, you seem an intelligent guy. Is it usually you just can't accept it? You've wasted 18 months of your life. Is that what it is? Jimmy, I'll help you. I'm out. Duncan Bannatyne has lost patience with Jamie. Will Peter Jones share the concerns of his rival? We get to see a lot of products, obviously, as you can imagine, and a, and a lot of crazy ones, and I, I quite like it. It's the kind of thing that you can see selling. Absolutely. I, I've just come back from America, and I think that on the beach in America, people would... It's our biggest market, I imagine. Would, I could see people just buying that, especially in Los Angeles. They buy a lot more crazy things there. Absolutely. An impressed Peter Jones appears to have a vision for the product, but has stopped just short of making an offer. His rival dragons have been listening intently, and now James Kahn steps in. Jamie, just talk me through your projections of what you think you're going to sell and who you're going to sell this to. Well, obviously CVS and Target are, you know, are, are the, 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 the two companies in the States, the two major companies that we're, that we're talking to at the moment. Um, we, I also see this selling, you know, obviously through companies that, 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 that sell outdoor furniture, your beach shop that sells all your beach accessories, your mail order catalogues. Um, it's, 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 it's suitable for almost every sales channel. Uh, which, I mean, and I can see all of those things. They make a lot of sense. My only, the only thing that's holding me back is something's telling me you've tried all of those and they haven't been interested. No, we, we, no, we, we haven't tried. We have, we've only... We've only uh, approached 1% of the market. I think I could be interested in making you an offer. Um, and what I'd like to do is offer you £50,000 for 20% of the equity. OK. James Kahn has made the first move, offering Jamie half the money for 20% of his business. But under DEN rules, Jamie must secure all the money he's asking for. Can he convince another dragon to put up the remainder? Jamie? Yes, um, Peter. Hi. Um, I'm not surprised by the new dragon has tried to jump in. I do think this is a very good idea. Thank you. Um, and I'm going to match James's offer of £50,000 for 20% of the business. OK, thank you for your offer. I'd just like to hear from the rest of the dragons if that's... You're that's not going to accept it straight away? No, uh, well, no, I would just like to, to hear what Deborah and Theo got to say before. I'll give you the offer for three minutes. In an attempt to secure his place in a deal, Peter Jones has taken the extraordinary step of setting a three-minute deadline. But one dragon is refusing to play ball. Very quickly, Theo. I hate to put you on the time constraint, <laughs> but I have Peter here. Two, on, two minutes. On the watch. I'm just very conscious of Peter's uh, time what? here. And, One minute and 30. I'm not conscious of it. Deborah. I, I like it. Um, I, I do think Theo's got a point over the uh, copying of it, but I've got to tell you, I think it's, it's good and I would match that offer. OK, thank you, Deborah. Deborah Meaden is now the third dragon to enter the fray, matching the existing offers from James Kahn and Peter Jones. The clock's ticking, but Theo Pafitis is still refusing to be intimidated by his rival. Theo, I'm going to back to you. Jamie, let me, let me just help you. Whilst it's, it, it obviously has some merit and you will sell some, and mm -hmm. you will sell some around the world, I'm sure, right? Mm -hmm. I'm looking at it as an investment. 
Okay. And I'm looking at it on a basis that if I put my money in, where's the long-term future? Sure. At the moment, I can't see this being a long-term business for me. So that's the reason why I'm out. It's decision time for Jamie. He has three offers on the table, all for half the £100,000 investment. But whichever dragon combination he chooses, he'll have to sacrifice 40% of his business, unless he can persuade them to reduce their equity demands. I just on the 40 on the 20 percent from the three of you, um, that's that's an awful lot of more more equity than obviously than than we had anticipated to give away. And I, I understand what you can bring to the company that you know your your contacts and your experience you know is, is invaluable. Um, is there room for negotiation? Can, can we bring the the equity down to 30 percent, for instance? Deborah, you tied down to that 20% for 50,000? Absolutely. I, to be, I, I think it's a good offer. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a generous offer. OK, thank you, Deborah. 40 seconds. It's the moment of truth. With none of the dragons willing to budge, which two will Jamie choose to back him? James, thank you for your initial offer. Um, I, have, I don't know enough about yourself and your businesses. Um, I am very familiar with Peter and Deborah, and for that reason, I'd like to accept your offer. Deborah and Peter. Well done. Well done. We got an investment. Jamie's done it, and Peter Jones's strategy has paid off, securing a stake in Cushion Shade for himself and Deborah Meaden. To be honest, there's a lot of markets for that. I think he'll do well. <sighs> He's a good guy obviously, as well. You've obviously sold a business or two and you've got time on your hands. <laughs> Jamie. Well done. Thank you. Are you feeling pleased about it? Yeah, I am. Um, I understand that I gave away a lot more equity than we had come in you know, at the, at the start. But I came in and I knew that I'd have to bargain on the equity. But um, I understand what, uh, what they can bring to the company. And having two dragons instead of one is, is pretty invaluable to us. Now, you must have been surprised because after the first few minutes, it really looked like it was all going the wrong way, didn't it? Yeah, I, I initially did, but then, I mean, I'm confident in my product, so... And yes, they were having a laugh, having a joke, and, you know, they have every right, of course. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I, I did get three dragons who were interested. OK, we'll see how you get on. Thank you very well much. Well done. Thanks.